Hello. Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. How are you? Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you today? Mm. How was your weekend? What did you do this weekend? Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, uh, I'm very busy this weekend. Really? Why? Um, I am. I go to the haircut mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and supermarket. Mm -hmm. And the afternoon, I have a meeting with my friend um, outside in from El Salvador. Oh, really? What country? In what? In United States, um, Spain, many, many uh, cities. Oh, and very, I... very, very tired. Wow. It's hey. nice. It's nice. Yes. So cool. How do you say España in English? Spain. Spain. Very good. Spain. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Olga. Okay. I, I went to a park Eco El Espino. Do you know Park Eco El Espino? No. I, I yes, I know this place, but I don't visit anything. Ah, okay. It's a very nice place. Oh. I I have repeat. I have never visited this place. Repeat. Okay. I have never. I have never visited. Visited this place. This place. Oh, okay. thanks. It is beautiful. And the weather is cold. Oh, it's nice. Yes, yes. I very I enjoyed this place. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, anybody else? Anybody else? What did you do this weekend? Somebody? Somebody, somebody? Volunteer, what did you do this weekend? I celebrated with the FAS team. Uh-huh. With the what team? FAS team. Oh, awesome. Did you did you watch the game? Yes. I watched uh, on TV because uh, I came to go to the stadium. I couldn't. Uh huh. I couldn't go to the stadium. I couldn't go to the stadium. Everybody repeat. I couldn't go. I couldn't, I couldn't go. go to the stadium. To the stadium. Yeah. Um, I heard it was a little dangerous. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. I, I saw the the pictures but after the game i went to santa ana city oh really how is santa ana yes how is santa ana is it cold uh, no it's warm 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 yeah. okay nice nice all right, uh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that everybody had a good weekend. I hope that you enjoyed with your family, your friends. Um, let's go ahead and get started with your English class. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Um, who can tell me what do you remember from the previous class on Thursday? What activity do you remember from the class on Thursday? Midterm, midterm, 
give the middle term exam? That's right. We did the midterm exam. So um, today I would like for us to go ahead and move forward. Today we are going to be starting with the section four. Section four. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about things people hate to do. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán vocabulario para hablar sobre las cosas que las personas odian hacer. Repeat after me. Top eight things people hate to do. Top eight things people hate to do. Top eight things people hate to do. Okay, let's listen to the video. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for talking about things that people hate to do. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Everybody, listen and repeat. Stand in line. Stand in line. Stand in line. Hacer cola. Do laundry. Do, Do laundry. laundry. Lavar la ropa. Travel to work. Travel, Travel to, work. to work. Viajar al transporte público. Go to the meetings. Go, Go to the meetings. meetings. Ir a reuniones. Exercise. 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 Mr. Santos loves to exercise. <laughs> Work in the yard. Work in the yard. Trabajar en el jardín. Clean the house. Clean the house. Limpiar la casa. Open the mail. Open the mail. Open the mail. Abrir la correspondencia. One more time. Stand in line. Stand in line. Do laundry. Do laundry. Travel to work. Travel, Travel to, work. Work. to work. Go to meetings. Go to meetings. meetings. Exercise. <laughs> Exercise. Work in the yard. Work, work in, the yard. in the yard. Clean the house. Clean, Clean the, the house. house. Open the mail. Open, Open the, the mail. mail. Listen, please. Stand in line. Two, do laundry. Three, travel to work. Four, go to meetings. Five, exercise. Six, work in the yard. Seven, Clean the house. Eight, open the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. All right, everybody repeat. I have to do the laundry every weekend. I have, I have to do laundry, laundry, every, laundry weekend. every weekend. Every weekend. Tengo que lavar la ropa todos los fines de semana. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Lo odio. I don't have to do, I don't have to do clean the house. Okay. Aquí hay un error. Sí. Ya uh -huh. clean the house. Do, do, clean the house. No, uh -huh. no. El do no lo, el, el do. do es el uh -huh. error. No va, no, uh -huh. aquí no se necesita el do. Uh -huh. ¿Por, ¿Por qué? Uh -huh. Porque do es un, un verbo y clean uh -huh. es un verbo. Uh -huh. eh, so, tenemos dos verbos juntos. Creo que es error de dedo. Uh, mm -hmm. Repeat, I don't have to. I don't have, don't to, have to clean the house. Clean, clean the, the house. house. Okay. So, ustedes me van a dar una oración similar por cada, eh, por cada imagen. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sentences. I see. I don't have to do the laundry. Er I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. Y I don't have to clean the house. Una oración positiva, negativa. Positiva, negativa. Any questions? Eh, me queda una, una duda ahí este, sobre la, la pertenencia de eliminar el do. Ok. Viviendo en cada caso, observo que siempre hay un verbo. Sí. Cuando tú dices, okay. I, I have to, por ejemplo, tú dices, I have to do the dishes. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Do. Do. Have to es el auxiliar que es tengo que. O I have to pay the bills. Pagar los recibos. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Pay. Pay. O I have to cook dinner. Tengo que cocinar la cena. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Cook. 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 Uh -huh. So, do you understand? Sí, mi pregunta viene a ser esta. En el caso de que la frase de la actividad que corresponda comience con un verbo, tengo que eliminar el do. Por ejemplo, open the mail. Go to ah, meet. Uh -huh. Correct. Correct. Eliminamos el do. Por ejemplo, acá, I, I, ha, I have to pay the bills, no pongo do. No digo, I have to do, pay the bills. Solo digo, I have to pay the bills. Cuando digo exercise, sería do exercise. I have to, um, yeah, puede ser. I have to exercise. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Uh, exercise es un verbo. Es el verbo, pero también puedo decir I have to do exercise. Allí, ¿cuál es el verbo? Do. 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 Exercise, allí ya no es verbo. Allí pasa a ser nombre. Ok. Uh -huh. O tú dices, tengo que hacer mi tarea. I have to do my homework o tú dices tengo que hacer un reporte I have to make ahí cambia el verbo a report o tengo que reportar el accidente I have to report the accident ¿cuál es el verbo? report report uh -huh. En el caso de la frase work in the yard, entonces elimino el do también. Correcto. I have to work in the yard. That's right. Ok. Muchas gracias. Yes. Another question. Profesor, Les, eh, tenemos que, perdón, tenemos que poner una, una oración diciendo que no nos gusta y otra que no gusta. Correct. Ok. Correct. Una que... Okay. Que la odia hacer y una que no tiene que hacer. Ocho de cada una. Ocho. Ocho oraciones. Okay. Por ejemplo, usted dice, yo tengo que lavar la ropa todos los fines de semana. Lo odio. Mm -hmm. Esa mm -hmm. es la positiva porque es have to. La mm -hmm. otra, I don't have to clean the house. No tengo que limpiar la casa. Ok. Mm -hmm. okay Esa es thanks. negativa. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, another question, ladies and gentlemen. Voy a mandarle los ejemplos aquí en el chat. Para que los tengan. Another question, ladies and gentlemen. ¿A todos le, les llegó el, las oraciones? Okay. Yes. Let's work in pairs. Questions, 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 questions. I think no. No? No questions? No. Okay. 
two participants in each class, in each room. No hola, buenas noches. Hola, hola, buenas noches. Tal vez me escucha porque aquí está cayendo una gran tormenta. Ya está pasando, pero como que viene otra también. Vaya, si gusta hacemos entonces las oraciones, ya está en la plataforma, usted. Ahorita estoy entrando. Avisa. Vaya. Sandra, yo tengo la primera. Sería, I had reading the bus in the morning. ¿Me escuchó? Sí, esa sería la, la ¿qué número es? El 4.1, ¿no? Ah, sí, porque tenemos que ir viendo los ejercicios. Entonces sería, la Voy número a... uno sería, I have to stand, I have. Vale, yo tenía también unas aquí, pero no sé si estarán bien. Ese sí, sería no, su ocho. Hola, hola. Tiene... Sí, no me escucho. Ajá, hoy sí la escucho. ¿Cómo no, cómo no? Vaya, la eh, número uno sería, I have to stand. Uh -huh. I have to stand, es la número uno. Sí. De hacer cola. Sí, sí, sí. In line. At the van. Ponemos el punto y ponemos ahí. 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 Y la forma negativa sería, yo no hago cola en el banco. Así sería, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sería, I don't. Pero que no es, ah, sí, ¿verdad? I don't, ¿no? Ajá. I don't. Oye, fui me, fui me sale, fui a the bank. Vaya, de tu de tu laundry, de lavar la ropa. Pongamos, I have to laundry. Yeah. 
Fíjense que yo puse que yo lavo ropa dos veces por semana. Y ahí le puse, I hear it, que sería lo odio. Ajá. No sé si la, la va a copiar. Sí, porque yo la había puesto todos los días, pero mejor. Ah, ya la había puesto. Entonces, si quiera, déjela así. Y de ahí Ajá. solo ponemos, yo no lavo ropa. Ajá. Yo no lavo ropa en la semana. Uh -huh. I don't, I Ya me copia de alguna que no ha terminado. Ejemplo. Eh, quiero ver. I don't have work in the yard. I don't have work. Yo le puse I hate it. I hate it. I have to. Clean the house. Dice Linda que no puede hablar porque está lloviendo. Ah, y ahí está con nosotros. Sí, aquí se está, aquí está tronando fuerte, pero todavía no está lloviendo. Una me falta. No sé cuál me falta. Ya puse. Stand in line, travel to work, do the laundry, go to meetings, exercise, have to work in the yard, in the house. No sé cuál me falta. I have to do the dishes. Ah, sí. I have to play the blue. I don't have. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Is... Finished, teacher. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Welcome back. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? I need more time. Okay. More time, teacher. More time. Me too, please. Me too. Okay. All right. Finish. Finished. Okay. If you're finished, you can continue. We will give you more time. Ready? Let's go. Olga, let's go, Olga. You're working with Samuel.
La negativa. I don't. I don't ex do exercise. I don't. Me decía de las oraciones que si las había copiado. En Elma, el, el profesor ¿Qué está. ¿Qué había copiado? Eh, Elma, el profesor está aquí en la reunión para que le pregunte lo que tenía la, la duda anterior. Hey, what's going on? Sí, Ask me the bien. question. What's up? Este, teacher. Yeah. Yo le quería preguntar si en todas las oraciones le vamos a agregar eh, la palabra esta que en español dice lo odio. Correct. Correct. Sí. Yes. Pero es hat it. Así es. Hate teacher. it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate ah, it. Okay. Ah, um, bye. Sorry. Entonces, otra oración sería I have eh, open the mail. Sí, el, el, el correo. Open the mail. Hey, it dijo que, que, que se pronuncia. Hate it. 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 Uh, hate it. I have opened the mail. I have to. to sorry, I have to open the mail. Hate it. Así. No, 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 no. Es como cuando dices. Tengo que hacer fila para pagar recibos. Punto. Lo odio. Punto. I have to stand in line to pay bills. I hate it. I hate it. Sí. Eh, para abrir Porque el yo hice una que dice así, mire, teacher. Dice, I have to do is staying in the bank. I no. hate it. I no. hate it. No, 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 no. Acuérdese que los ejemplos que les puse, cuando tú dices, cuando el verbo empieza a stand in line, no es necesario el do. Acuérdese que les estuve mm -hmm. explicando esa parte de que el do, cuando estás usando stand in line, Exercise, pay the bills. El do fue error de dedo del video. ¿Se acuerda que les dije? Yes. Ok. Ah, ok, teacher. Ya lo entendí. Okay. Ya, no, ya no gustaríamos do. Correcto. Ah, les voy a mandar ahorita a todos los ejemplos para que vean los ejemplos. ¿Les llegó? Um... Mm, quiero ver. No, teacher. En el chat de Zoom. No mandó. Aparece como una ventana azul arriba, pero, pero no en el chat. No es en el chat de Zoom. No. Y ahora. No, lo mismo. Mm. Qué raro. Ok, voy a abrir WhatsApp. Espérame. Voy a abrir WhatsApp y se lo voy a mandar al grupo. Ahorita se los mando en WhatsApp. Bye. Ah, entonces sería en la plataforma que, que carga los ejercicios. 
Ah, en la plataforma. Sí. Permítame que yo no, no tengo sí. abierta la plataforma. Sí, me cerró. All right, is everybody finished? Yes, teacher. Awesome. Now we're going to look at the following one. Any questions at this moment? Questions? No, teacher. Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán a formular oraciones positivas y negativas en pasado simple usando verbos regulares. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario de la vida real. Okay, guys, right now, uh, antes de ver el video, vamos a hacer la asistencia. Please, uh, let's look at, uh, we're going to take the picture. Uh, so please, I would like for everybody to turn on the camera. And we are going to take the picture for the attendance. One minute, please. Turn on the camera for the picture of the attendance. Are you ready? Is everybody ready? Yes, okay. ready. Veo que Shomara no encendió la cámara. Eh, Samuel Vizcarra no encendió la cámara. Carlos Daniel no encendió la cámara. All right. Yes, everybody ready. No oh. Ah, okay, okay. Ready? Everybody say cheese. Okay, one more. Everybody say cheese. Excellent. Thank you. Ya puede apagar su cámara si gusta. And now we're going to do the attendance. Cuando diga su nombre, por favor diga presente. Carlos Daniel. Present teacher. The 31st. Como vuela el tiempo. Ya estamos al medio año. Del Misaraí. Del Misaraí. Edgar Crespin. Edgar Crespin. Absent. Edith Yasmin. Edith Yasmin. Present. present. Edwin Gustavo. Present teacher. Present. Linda Estefania. Este Estefania. Linda Estefania. Absent. Uh, denme un segundo, chicos. Voy a cerrar mi ventana que ya está cayendo con todo.
All right. The next one, Maria Angelina. Present teacher. Present. Maria Ines. Present teacher. Noemi Yesenia. Present. Olga Lillian. Present teacher. Oscar Armando. Oscar Armando. Absent. Paola Maria. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio. Present. Raquel Noemi. Present teacher. Raúl Edgardo. René Samuel. Present. Rodrigo Antonio. Present. Rodrigo Daniel. Present. Rolando Rigoberto. Present. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Ruby Abigail. Present. Ruth del Carmen. Present teacher. Sandra Maritza. Present. Saraí Abigail. Present. Tania Fabiola. Present teacher. Tatiana Beatriz. Present. Telma Guadalupe. Present teacher. Vanessa Elizabeth. Present teacher. Vanessa, sorry, Shomara del Carmen. Teacher. Soshi Alexandra. Present. Excellent. All right. Now we are going to continue with the activity. Any questions at this moment? Any questions at this moment? Okay. No question. No question. Let's continue. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. All right. Any questions at this moment? Okay. 
So, la estructura gramatical aquí es subject, sujeto, verb, el verbo, in the simple present, and complement, on Sunday. Again, subject, you, watched, el verbo, in simple present, television, complement. Cuando estás usando el negativo, it didn't or did not, lo vas a poner entre el sujeto y el verbo. Porque es negativo y está en pasado. El auxiliar didn't es para el pasado. Eh, teacher, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre didn't y did not? Eh, la diferencia es que didn't es usado más que nada cuando hablas. I didn't. Y did not es usado más que nada cuando lo escribes. En el sentido más formal. So, cuando usas el contraction didn't, es considerado informal. Y cuando usas eh, did not, las dos palabras completas, es más formal. Eh, aquí, en los verbos, tenemos el verbo watch. So, cuando el verbo termina en ch, ch, para hacerlo pasado, solo le agregas ed. Exercise. Cuando el verbo termina en una letra E que no se pronuncia, solo le agregas la D para hacerlo pasado. Cuando el verbo termina en Y, le eliminas la Y y le pones ED. Cuando el verbo termina en vocal Y y es una sílaba, no como study, aquí son dos sílabas, study. Cuando es una sílaba, eh, no le quitas la Y, solo la dejas ED. Cuando el verbo es de un, una sílaba, shop, y termina en la combinación vocal, consonante, en este caso OP, pero puede ser cualquier vocal consonante, la combinación, se le va a agregar la última consonante y ed. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Exercise. Exercised. E X E R C I S E D. Study. Studied. S T U D I E D. Stay. Stayed. S T A Y E D. Shop. Shopped. S H O P P E D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like... Uh, teacher, teacher, ¿Cómo voy a saber todo eso que me acaba de explicar? You have to practice. All right. Si usted no, eh, después de la clase, no lo practica, no lo repasa, no lo estudia, no lo practica, eh, no, lo, no se le va a quedar. Es como que si vino acá y se salió acá. So, para retener... Toda esta información hay que repeat, repeat, practice, practice. No solo es... Ya. Question. Yeah. question. What is your question? Sorry, eh, eh, para la pronunciación de esa ED. Ah. Para la pronunciación de esa ED solo se agrega el sonido de la D al final. No, no. Hay tres reglas para el sonido de la D. Está el sonido voiced que es que hay sonido y está el sonido unvoiced, que es que no hay sonido. Por ejemplo, eh, tú dices la palabra watch. Si tú pones tus dos dedos en la garganta y tú dices watch, watch, eh, la CH no es voiced. 
watch, porque allí muere el, el sonido. So es on voice. So la pronunciación sería T. Watched, watched, para hacerlo pasado. Pero si yo pronuncio la palabra exercise, al final es voiced. Exercise. El sonido no se muere allí. Exercise. So aquí el sonido es voiced. So, la pronunciación es D, exercised, con D. Ahora, eh, lo mismo con la Y, study, stay, es voiced. So, se pronuncia con D, studied, stayed, con D. Pero, shop, es, ahí muere, shop, shop. So, es con T, shop. Pero si termina con la T, como la palabra want, o la D, como la palabra land, el pasado se pronuncia ID, wanted. En el pasado aterrizó, landed. Ahí se pronuncia la ID. So, son tres sonidos. Uno de T, watched, exercised, wanted, landed. Eh, teacher, teacher, ¿cómo voy a saber todo eso? Practice and memorize. Memorization. And repeat. Repetition, repetition, repetition. I'd like to get started with positive statements. Before I start though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense. And we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the present plus complement. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, study. 
finally we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First we will add the subject you. Next we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements. Didn't. After that we add the verb in the present tense. Watch. Finally, we will add the complement a movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past tense. I would like for you to use all the verbs on the right hand side of the chart and provide similar examples about yourself, family, friends, and co workers. For example, I watch television on Monday. I didn't exercise on Monday. My friend didn't stay home on Saturday. She shopped for clothes. After you finish this activity, share your work. All right, so right now I would like for you to give me at least five examples. I watched television on Monday, positive. I didn't exercise on Monday, negative. My friend didn't stay home on Saturday, positive. She shopped for clothes, negative, positive. So total, you're going to have 10, five positive, five negative. And you are going to write the examples right here in the discussion forum. Any questions? All right. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Five positive, five negative. Let's go, Shamara. Let's go, Rodrigo. Let's go, Edwin. Edwin, what are you doing? Okay. Uh, ah, pues, este, vaya. El primero lo hace usted. Okay. El segundo, lo Rodrigo, y yo el tercero. Mm -hmm. Con style. Okay. Que es uno positivo y otro negativo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yes. Bueno, está aquí.
siempre pasa. Siempre pasa. La mía ya está. Uh -huh. Ok. La mía también. Yo puse, my husband watches television all the Sunday. Y la negativa, I didn't watch television last Saturday. Ay, vamos a hacer una negativa. Yo pensé que la negativa la íbamos a repartir después. <laughs> Yo de un solo la hice. That's bueno. right. That's the idea. That's good. De un solo. Va, ok. Ok, Mari. ¿La suya? Mary. All right, is everybody finished? No, yet, teacher. Is everybody finished? Not yet. No, teacher. No. Not yet. Give us a second, a few minutes. A few minutes. Okay, if you are not finished, that's going to be uh, your homework uh, because it's already time to go. Okay. So please continue working on section four, and mm -hmm. I will see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye, good bye, night. teacher. Have a good evening. Bye. Good, good, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Enjoy the rain. Enjoy the weather. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. <laughs>